This video shows how to assemble and calibrate the Elector LCR meter kit uh, AU2019. After unpacking the kit, check that you have all the parts. You should have an MCU board, a display board, four BNC sockets, a flat cable, a knob, a USB cable, a test lead with Kelvin clips, four jumpers, a trim tool, a machined and printed aluminium case uh, with uh, screws and rubber feet, five standoffs, five small screws, five self-locking nuts, a washer and a user manual. First mount the four BNC sockets on the MCU board. Solder only one fixing pin of each connector so they can be aligned more easily if needed. When the alignment is ok, uh, solder the other fixing pin. Attach four standoffs with a small screw to the front panel. Remove the LCD's protective film before mounting the display board. Use four self-locking nuts to fix the display board, but do not tighten them. Make sure the push buttons are well aligned before tightening the nuts. Mount the knob on the rotary encoder. Check that it rotates nicely and that you can press it. Plug one end of the flat cable on the display board. It is reversible even though the connectors are different. Make sure to slide the MCU board in the right way. Slide in the display board. Connect the flat cable to the MCU board. Check that there is a jumper on pins 2 and 3 of J3. Power the board with a USB power adapter, not from a computer. Power on the LCR meter. Move the boards apart to make room for the calibration points. A long press on the menu button opens the calibration menu. Select Sine Wave Generator Offset Adjustment.
Using a voltmeter, adjust R146 to minimize the voltage on TP7. With a voltmeter, measure the voltage on TP6 and enter it using the rotary encoder. Select measure and set VREF. Place jumpers on J9 and 17. Select 10 kHz. Adjust R31 to minimize the displayed value. Press OK when done. Select 1 MHz. Adjust C44 to minimize the displayed value. Press OK when done. Now repeat the procedure starting at 10 kHz. Place jumpers on J8, 9 and 11. Select PGA2 Gain 3 Calibration. Adjust C106 so phi is in the range of minus 0.1 to plus 0.1. Then press OK. Wait until the device terminates. This takes about four and a half minutes. Press OK when done. Place jumpers on J8, 9 and 11. Select PGA2 gain 10 calibration. Adjust C51 so far is in the range of minus 0.3 to plus 0.3. Then press OK. Wait until the device terminates. Press OK when done. Place jumpers on J8, 9 and 10. Select calibration range 1. Press OK when the calibration is done. Place jumpers on J8, 9 and 11. Select calibration range 2. Press OK when the calibration is done. Place jumpers on J8, 9 and 12. Select calibration range 3. Press OK when the calibration is done. Place jumpers on J8, 9 and 13. Select calibration range 4. Press OK when the calibration is done. Place jumpers on J8, 9 and 17. Select short circuit trim. And press OK when the calibration is done. Place jumpers on J8 and 9. Select open circuit trim. Press OK when the calibration is done. Remove all jumpers except J3. Put the washer on the standoff. Fix the standoff to the MCU board with a nut. Screw the MCU board to the case. If needed, assemble the side panels. 
then screw them to the enclosure. Stick the four rubber pads on the bottom of the instrument to finalize the assembly. Power the LCR meter with a USB adapter and check if everything works. Have a look at the menus. It may be necessary to update the user menu to have access to all the functions or to add your own language. You can do this easily with the AU 2019 computer app. Your LCR meter is now ready to use. Don't forget to repeat the trim procedures when you change the test lead. Also press the trim button regularly for the best results. We hope you will enjoy your Elector LCR meter AU 2019 for many many years. Ok that's it, I hope you found it interesting. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and tap or click the bell button. Thank you for watching.